Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. Today I'm doing a emergency response video. I've had a bunch of questions recently um, from some newcomers to the G-System on how to use the visor editor to add multiple SQS files to their G-System and assign presets their own spaces within the G-System. So, let me show you how to do that. It's easy. Alright, today what I've done, just for openers, is I have completely erased my G-System. There's nothing on it. So let's go and prove it to you. Nada. Bupkis. Zip. Zilch. Not a goddamn thing. So, let's load something into it. I am going to take my friend Mark's uh, SQS file that he mailed, emailed me and uh, Mark is all the way over in jolly old England and I'm going to load it using the visor editor into my G system and then I'm going to take another SQS file one of my old ones from years and years ago and load that in and show you how you can assign space let's do it Alrighty, here we have my computer. Let's open up the visor editor. And, uh oh, a little cat dog war going on. A little turf war. Uh, now, what you need to see is these blue lines happening over here. Right, yeah. If you don't see those things, you are not connected properly, or your computer is just not seeing your G-System, which has been a problem for me in the past. Oh god, here comes the dog. Harper? No. Not right now. Okay, as you can see, we are back to the, uh, basically the, uh, you know, the factory presets. Now, I want to open up Mark's preset. Let's do that. It's on the desktop. Weird Science G-System. Let's open that. Alright, now here's a policy that I've stood by for quite a few years now. It says the set has changed. Do you want to save the changes? I say no every goddamn time this thing asks me if I want to save changes. It uh, basically will screw up your, uh, your SQS files and your individual presets on occasion if you do that. I'm not guaranteeing it'll screw them up every time, but it has fucked up a lot of my presets. I don't trust this thing. So I only use it to transfer files on or off my G-System. I don't ever use it for editing. That's just asking for trouble. Sadly, I mean, it's ironically called the editor, but you can't do any fucking editing with it. What are you going to do? All right, so here we go. We've got uh, his presets in there. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. go through them and see what we got. We've got... Uh, Clean one, blah, 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 dirt, metal. Hey, these are all mine. That's right. Okay, so there's really not many. There's just a few. Not really that many. Um, okay. Now, let's sync here. We're going to overwrite the G-System presets. Now that one is stored. We can go back down to the bottom here. And technically you should do this with each one. Figure out what it is that you want and store it by syncing. Then hit overwrite G-System preset. Since my G-System is empty, it doesn't mean shit to me. I can just delete it all and uh, you know, emptied out again. Not a big deal. Now, um, let's see here. Let's go to the next one. I'm just going to store this first bank's worth. Sync them up. Mm 
Okay. Now, we've got those five and this one up here that's already been sunk. Synced? Sunk. Whatever. I believe that one has been synced. Sunk. Ah! Whatever. Synchronized. Yes. Anyway. Now, let's go over to the G-System and see what's there. All right, here we are back at the G-System. Now, there's the first one. We're in bank zero. That's there, that's there, that's there, that's there. That's there. Now, you go up to the next one. We didn't sync these, so they are not there. But we did sync this one. Two, two. Two, two. I don't want to keep two, two. So, let's get rid of two, two. Let's go over here. Go to preset. Enter. Delete. You're dead. You're dead to me. Now, now we know that we've got presets in bank zero zero in presets one through five. Now let's go back to the editor and assign some presets into from a new SQS file into bank zero one. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Here we are back at the computer. Now, let's open up a new SQS. Let's open up the other one. My old G-System patches. Alright, let's see what's in there. God only knows. I say no to saving of changes. I don't want to save changes. That's bullshit. Now, this is just basically telling me what's in the SQS file. A bunch of old stuff that I used to play. Ooh, David, David boy. Good times. Um... Yeah, this was from way back. Wow, good times. I am going to move in some of these presets. So I'm going to basically find one that I like. This is a good one. I enjoy this one. A little modern English tune. So let's hit the store in tab. Now, we know that from looking at my G system, that there are uh, presets in 0, 0, 1 through 5 even though the stupid editor will not tell you where they are, that they're there. Ugh, this fucking thing, I tell you. So, we want Melt With You, and we want it to live in 1.1. One, one. So, let's hit click Store to Destination. Bam. And let's do it again. Let's find another preset. I don't like Mexican radio. Ooh, drain, drain. Okay. Store in. We want it to go to 1, 2. See, um, there's Mel with you. We want it in 1, 2. Even though you cannot believe what you, what you read here, you've got to make your own, what I call, a preset map or preset list before you do this. So you need to know what you have in your G system and where, because this thing is going to try and mislead you. Now, I want it to be in 1.2, store to destination, and and here we, here, here's another thing, another little, little thing I didn't uh, mention. We want to go ahead and sync these, too. You can't just store in. You need to sync it as well. And then go to the next one. Go to the sync. Overwrite the G-System preset. Now let's go back to the G-System and make sure they're there. Hmm? All right, we are back at the G system. Let's go up to bank one. Melt with you, Duran Duran, and nothing. Okay, that is the process of storing multiple files from, well, individual files from multiple SQS files. I'm talking to you, Jurgen. That's right. This should clear up any questions you have. And, uh, Another little helpful hint for living from the G-System Almanac is don't leave your G-System plugged in to your computer via the uh, USB when you're not performing a transfer. You're asking for some strange potential noise problems and I also just don't trust it. So um, 
just, you know, when you're done with this, disconnect. Reconnect before you start the G system or the, the visor editor for the next time you need to use it. But keep it disconnected in between. That's just a little tip for me to you. Now, there you go. This should be everything you need to know about transferring files. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and not do anything with these because I don't have any amps right now. Son of a bitch. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your week, and until Friday, rock on.